Certainly a pleasure to be here this morning. I appreciate uh, once again being joined by a number of our uh, uh, Moors and the other operators here at uh, Joplin, as well as uh, these legislative leaders behind me, including Senator Richard, uh, Representative Lamb, Representative Ruzika, Representative Lincoln Huff, and uh, Representative Bill Reibold. We tremendously appreciate uh, uh, them being with us today and our support. Uh, Jackie Mark and the team at Joplin Regional Stockyards, we appreciate uh, you for hosting us this morning. I also want to thank Director John Hagler for the outstanding work he and his team do each and every day uh, to support Missouri livestock producers and farmers. Last Monday, July 23rd, I declared a state of emergency in Missouri in response to these historic drought conditions. And on Tuesday, we announced an emergency cost share program to help Missouri livestock producers and farmers access and transport water during this period of extreme heat and drought. Since announcing this program, we have received more than 1,250 applications for emergency assistance. As of this morning, at the 8.30 report this morning, we have approved 490 contracts, which will provide more than $2.1 million in assistance to our farmers and producers. Let me go ahead and redo that real quickly. In six days, your government <laughs> has approved 490 contracts and put 200 $2.1 million out there for 90-10 cost share uh, for farm operations across Missouri. Let me give you a few examples of the types of projects we're supporting. Mike Judy and Gail Turner own 150 head of cattle in Newton County and are here with us this morning. In the past years, they have watered their cattle with three ponds and a spring on their farm. Because of the prolonged drought this year, their spring has gone dry, two ponds are dry, and the remaining pond has only inches of water remaining. The new emergency program will help the Turner family install a new well, distribution line, and tank for a total cost of $9,687. Terry Collins had 90 head of cattle in Texas County. In past years, he has watered his cattle on springs and ponds on his property as well as Beaver Creek, which flows through his farm. Because of this historic drought, Terry's springs have stopped flowing. His ponds are nearly exhausted, and Beaver Creek has gone dry. Terry was concerned he would be forced to sell some of his cattle within the next week. The emergency program is providing a new well and distribution for a total cost of $11,079, and the well driller was on site Friday of last week. Walter Garfield raises soybeans and corn in Barton County. He has lowered his pump as far as possible, but it is surging and running out of water. His crops need at least several more weeks of irrigation to be successful. The emergency program is providing a new irrigation well for him underneath that $20,000 cap. We are moving these funds for eligible projects as quickly as possible to provide immediate and significant relief for Missouri livestock producers and farmers. It is clear that this program is meeting a real and pressing need. To meet these needs, we have made available a total of $7 million in state resources to fund eligible applications. By deepening existing wells, digging new wells, and extending piping systems and tanks, we will furnish immediate aid and relief to Missouri agriculture, which is the backbone of our economy. Let me be clear, the state of Missouri will stand with our farmers and livestock producers at every stage of this drought emergency. We will continue to identify additional resources to ensure that we have funding for eligible projects that will provide immediate and significant drought relief for farmers and producers. Again, Director Hagler and his team at the Department of Agriculture, along with Director Parker Pauley and her team at the Missouri Department of Natural Resources, are working around the clock to support local soil and water boards in reviewing and approving these applications. Our state agriculture water resources technical team is also providing oversight to ensure accountability to Missouri taxpayers and to ensure that these projects do not adversely affect local water supplies. Well, we don't want to take, take local water supplies. We're trying to make sure we're assisting here and not, not hurting other areas. I also appreciate the leadership and support of the state Soil and Water Districts Commission has shown throughout this process and the strong support we've seen from local district boards. Together, we will move these funds into the field as quickly as possible to provide water to farmers and livestock producers in every corner of the Show Me State. Finally, I want to, recommend, I want to remind Missouri livestock producers and farmers that the deadline to apply for this emergency water assistance is next Monday, August 6th, at close of business. Uh, when we signed the original order here, we set up a two-week application process, a requirement that the applications be reviewed within 72 hours, and so far we've met those requirements, but, and, and we're rolling those approvals. As I said, almost 500 applications already approved, over $2 million, and many of those uh, projects uh, either have had work done or are having work done right now. 
Uh, from the beginning, we've been committed to moving these resources to where they've been needed as quickly as possible to provide immediate and significant relief. Once again, uh, applications have to be done by, uh, have to be in by uh, close of business next Monday, August 6th. You can also go to mo.gov. Uh, and then we have the application on the web there that, that uh, you can fill out uh, or to go to your local soil and water district to apply today.